Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday, the podcast where we dive into the heart of what really matters and how to heal within and live fully. I'm Lisa, your host, and today's episode is all about what weighs on us, especially secrets. So I hope you had an amazing weekend celebrating 4th of July and going out and about doing the things you wanted to do with family and kids. It's been scorching hot and I had um, uh, two people who came in as clients and both of them were all about weight, wanting to drop the weight for the summer and everything. And amazingly, um, both clients, if you didn't know, something came up. It was all these secrets, secrets that we hold on to. And I thought, why not have a talk about that today? Because as you know, as a clinical hypnotherapist, I work with emotional and mental weight, how to release that, right? So it's not always about the food we eat. It's not about the exercises, but what it is that we hold on to. So everyone has got secrets. So starting with promises that we make with a small little pinky as kids, uh, I promise to always be your friend. We are besties from the time that we are kid. And as we get older, uh, there are times that we need to keep others uh, in the dark, uh, as we call it, secrets, um, stir up feelings, and stir up feelings of shame and guilt. And guess what? Holding on to secrets can be a heavy burden. It is heavy and leads to emotional weight without realizing your mind can manifest this heaviness, this burden onto your physical body. So you get to carry this, dragging it for days, months, and years without realizing it. And because the subconscious mind is amazing, uh, it holds on to things and it stores it and literally puts a lid on it until you get to a place that you want to move forward in life and realize that you're dragging. So this constant pressure to maintain a secrecy can trigger your body's stress response. It boosts uh, stress hormones without you knowing it. And leading to releasing cortisol, which is the hormone associated with increased appetite and storing fat, right? Over time, the cycle of stress causes you to create a coping mechanism. And that coping mechanism for some of them is like even they eat very little but the body is producing these hormones and it's creating it only to protect. It's everything that we do, the body does for you. Again, it's for you. It's always there to protect and shield you and without realizing that what a burden, shame, guilt, and even trauma can be heavy. So, Let's talk about that. If you were to sit back just for a moment and ponder upon the things that has happened in your life, and it's not trauma. Some people say, I have trauma. I can't go get over the trauma. And just like a happy times, trauma is also an experience. Because when you're having a happy time and experiencing joy and good times, I want you to understand that traumatic 
things that happened to you were also experiences. But holding on to that secret and not expressing it, it's also suppressing it, right? So secrets, emotional, mental, physical, they are all there um, to protect. It also has a spiritual impact that has been very well documented. Research has it that things that you hold on to years later comes to surface and how you cope with it is up to you. So it, it boosts not only the hormones, it affects your blood pressure, it contributes to your mental health and how you cope with everyday life, either in a relationship or even at work or your children. So by working with those two clients and realizing the secret was not necessarily theirs, but they were holding on to the secret for someone else. Now that's added baggage. And I don't know why both this month was exactly for that and recognizing, oh my God, it's not even mine and I am holding on to it. So releasing those secrets can be liberating. It can be a profound impact on your mental and also physical, especially your spiritual by releasing it. So when you look around, look around and see what are the things that you're holding on to and um, recognizing that hypnosis, when you go into hypnosis, although you're not asleep, you're in a very uh, deep, profound uh, state of relaxation. When you come to express, release the things that you have suppressed, you realize uh, the deep secrets that you have been holding on to by releasing that emotional weight associated with those secrets can be liberating and more peaceful for you. Most of the clients that they come to me, when I ask them, what is it that you want? And they say, I want peace. I want serenity. I want to drop this weight and feel better. And by peeling away, I like to call it peeling away, dropping the weight, you get to realize you let go of so many other things. It's not only the secrets you're holding on to, but the weight on your body. So there are secrets that it's even ours. I know I held on to a secret from long time ago and I didn't realize it was a secret. And when I was talking to my mom just last month and I mentioned and I said, mom, I want to share a secret I haven't shared with you because I had shared it with a friend, but not my, with my mom. And <laughs> the moment I revealed it, she sat back, she smiled and she said, Lisa, I'm your mom. I've known about this all, all along. I'm like, really? All these years, for half a century, I've been holding on to the secret and not revealing it to you, thinking you wouldn't understand. And she said, I was waiting to see when you would share it with me. So here's my question to you. What is it that you have been holding on to that you think your loved ones will not understand? Or they will judge you, criticize you, belittle you. And if they do, after you share it with them, then you get to really know where you stand. Because I bet you anything. The ones who really love you, the one who really has the best interest for you is never ever going to judge you. 
and they will hold space for you. Just the same way as when I started uh, the session with my client and I was holding space and listening and with genuine care. You know what they said? I love speaking to you. I love coming over here because there is absolutely no judgment. First of all, the work that I do is holding space and holding a safe space for my client. Who am I to judge you? Because we all have our own misgivings. We all have our own secrets. We all have some kind of a weight or some kind of a secret we're holding on to because no one in this world is perfect, right? Even the person you think is perfect has it, their own imperfections. And that's it. Being genuine of who we are authentically is coming out and saying, you know what? This is who I am, simply. And there is nothing about me, you, and anyone else. I have my own weight that I carry, my own secrets that I carried. And right now, per frankly, I think I have released most of my secrets because there is not much that I am holding onto my body. I've shared about being a smoker since I was 12 years old and how I let go of smoking. And sometimes when I get emotional and I am with a friend that if I sit, I will have a cigarette with them. I will cough. My body will go into rejection. I will, my throat will scratch for a day or two reminding me why I stopped smoking. And those are secrets that once it's revealed, once it's expressed, just like the secret that I thought I was holding on for so long with my mom and come, lo and behold, she already knew about it. And we laughed and laughed for about five minutes. I was laughing and I was shaking my head. And genuinely, I went and hugged her and I said, thank you. And she said, you're welcome. But it was no secret. So I want you to think and just do a self check with yourself. If there is a guilty feeling that you are holding on to, if there is a secret, your own secret or someone else's, it's not yours. You can write it, burn it, let it go. Or just if they are not in your life. It's not a secret anymore. Just release it, sing it, do whatever, and let that go. Someone else's weight, someone else's burden, someone else's guilty feelings that they placed upon you and your shoulders for you to hold on to is no longer yours. So you can just release that as well. I hope this makes sense and you realize those are the steps. First, acknowledging that you are holding on to something that if it's not the eating, if it's not the exercising and you're still doing the yo-yo, that's the perfect way that, by the way, through hypnotherapy, you get to understand it. It's evoking it, which is acknowledging it. Come to embrace who you are with all your secrets and everything so that when you want to evolve, you release this. That's my program. That's exactly what I do. And I want you to know you're beautiful just as you are. You matter as much as the person that you promised to hold on to their secret. And uh, sometimes if they are a grown up, you must give their secret back to them and say, it's not mine to carry. Or you just say, I lock that and I release it into the cloud, into the world, and so that I can start taking care of myself. Remember, being selfish does not mean you are self-centered, that you are not compassionate, that you are not caring. Selfish, the word means belonging to myself, taking care of myself, and 
acknowledging myself and then the self is I so in life I am and I matter and then my family my loved ones taking care of you putting yourself number one as much as your number one loved ones so with that I hope you shed summer is here you want to have that body image you want to boost your confidence you want to release starting today because today is the day that you make the choice again I'm Lisa Bubari today's heel talk was release let go of the things you have kept secret let the secret out so that you can have your own inner peace and declutter either physically mentally or emotionally I look forward to seeing you by all means please subscribe go to our YouTube I have so many videos you can watch and I look forward thank you very much for all the information um, and inspirations that you give me and you want me to talk about so let's shed the weight together release it and um, those of you who said Lisa I am sorry you are under a lot of stress no that was my blog you can go to my blog and check out my blog share it share this video share the blog and at always as always um, Lisa Bubari I'm always here for you healwithin.com is my website and uh, if you want to schedule a, a session or know someone who needs my assistance guidance help by all means um, get in touch and thank you for all the referrals because without you I would not be here so until next week God bless you and may the universal light surround you always bye-bye thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago two weeks ago even a year ago click right here see you next time